Ray J is going to end up being the domino that takes, not what is it takes her down, but This is a channel about hot topics through a tarot perspective. Please only follow along. This is your thing. I don't want to hear any uh, comments about degrading tarot or degrading the community. I will delete them. This is about healing, growing, and seeing what we can learn from the situation. Okay, so I decided to do this video on my own accord. I have been accurate about people like, oh, um, I did say that I felt like the Kardashians were into black magic. And it comes out that Kim Kardashian has said she is channeling uh, Marilyn Monroe through holding on to her hair and stuff like that. So I did say that they are into this kind of dark, esoteric, magic side. And I was right. So I just want to elaborate on that. And I also wanted to say that I strongly feel like the Kardashians, I mean, I did say this before, they, their reign of America and modern culture is coming to an end. In the next two years, I strongly feel like more people are about to expose them. And I did predict this. I said that with Kim, an ex is going to come forward that she's done wrong. And I was right. That was Ray J. Um, yeah. And I foresee more coming out. So I want to clarify and expand on that. Please subscribe. Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, and Ace of Swords. So I strongly feel like right now, Chris is working over time to make sure that these stories about Ray J aren't going to come forward. So I think she's like threatening people behind the scenes, saying Six of Pentacles, making deals with the devil, basically. And with the Empress, because she wants to be seen, she wants her family to be seen in a good light. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them gets pregnant to take away from this drama. Because Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, somebody that they thought, it's kind of like David and Goliath. I strongly feel like Ray J is going to end up being the domino that takes, not when it takes them down, but because he's been so quiet for so long, you know, it does create this energy of like, why would he just say this? You know, it's not like somebody who's like Kanye West who I love is coming forward and being like a controversial figure. Ray J is not really controversial. So this is going to change the view of a lot of people who supported the Kardashians, especially the whole um, tape, sex tape, blah, blah, all that kind of stuff. So I see it being like a David and Goliath, like I said. And okay, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Thorns. So, they're still practicing their black magic. I see that very strongly. Uh, not only are they practicing their black magic, but Seven of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles. Chris is concerned about their money. So, with the future, Fear of Wands, Temperance, and Four of Swords, they're going to come up with this story and be like, you know, we only wanted the best for Ray J. They're going to do an exclusive. I wouldn't be surprised in the next week or two if they come out and do an exclusive but the thing is people see through them already with the sound of the magician they're going to be like you know thank you ray j for helping us get to where we are they're going to try to appease ray j but he's already pissed he's already like you know what you do this my family you do this you do this you do that um so let's see Okay, two of pentacles, seven of pen no, two of pentacles, seven of cups, and the emperor. So they're gonna be like, oh, you know, Ray J. We're so grateful to Ray J. because there's that trying to suck up to it, to him and his family. But they all have already decided, Queen of Swords and the Fool, they're going to expose him. I get get ready for an expert day. Let's just say that. So I love you all. Please comment, like, subscribe. Take care.